Welcome to Let's Get Metaphysical, the show that stretches you beyond your five senses. When you are looking for your next step on the path into the unseen, we've got you covered. Join epic adventure seekers and level up your game with your host, reality magician, Allie Bierman. Greetings, epic adventure seekers. Welcome to your guide to demystifying your world. I'm Allie Bierman, and you are listening to Let's Get Metaphysical, the show connecting heart and mind. Someone you know is looking to find out who they really are in the world to really figure out what's this whole thing about spirituality and how do I start on that path? Show them you care by writing a review. Let them know what you like about the show and what you think they like. And then share it with them. I really appreciate you doing that because it gets the word out so other people can find us. And here is a review of the week. It comes from Hail Dancer, titles it A Story of Courage. She says, a moving introduction to this podcast and a testament to Courage. Remarkable, Allie. Thank you for listening to one of my early one-on-one, just me and you guys. Now, on that note, I want you to come a little bit closer, okay? Come closer. I have a surprise for you. Well, it's not really a secret. Anyway, how would you like to get some tender, loving care from me personally? You see, right now, I am creating a very special membership site just to provide the TLC. In fact, it's called A-L-I-T-L-C dot club. I'm setting it up right now. But if you follow the link in the show notes, you'll be able to get on the notification list because we're going to have really special offers in there, special videos, special trainings. And because you're a member of the club, when I do a mastermind class online, you won't have to pay to join it because as a member, I'll grant you admission to it. So be sure you check out, look for the show notes. Now, as I said, today is another day, just me talking to you. And I'm going to start with a question. Okay. Who are you? What did you come here to do? Do you know who you are inside? Do you take pride in being you? I sure do hope that you do. I sure do hope that you do. It's a little bit of a trick question because if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm forever telling you, you are not who you think you are. And you are not who other people think you are. So who are you? Well, here's a place to start. I was certified in hypnosis many years ago. And an interesting that thing, and an interesting thing that I learned back then was most people live their lives in a state of hypnosis. In fact, I read it was some phenomenal percentage of how many people go through their day every day in a state of being hypnotized. If you think about it, it might be one of them. People get out of bed, put the first foot down, same one all the time. Get dressed, put on the same pant leg all the time. They take the same route to work. They take the same route to go shopping. Their habits all day long. They're not thinking about it. They're living on automatic like automatons. So when I was learning hypnosis, what I learned was we're not putting people into a hypnotic state. We're waking them up and taking them out of it. So let's move on from there. Talking about You're not who you think you are. Now, Deepak Chopra is telling you that you are not in the universe. Uh -uh. You contain that whole universe inside. So he said a little bit more clearly, you are not in the universe. The universe is in you. You're not 
your body and you're not your mind. Think about it. After the body you're in is gone, your mind goes with the yes, but you continue to exist. Physics tells us that energy cannot be created or destroyed. So who you are is a form of energy, which means you're not your body. You're not your mind. You are the awareness. You're aware of what you're thinking. You're aware of what you might be feeling, touching, but that isn't you. You are occupying a body. It takes you from point A to point B across your life so that you can learn the lessons you came here to discover, to allow your soul to evolve to a higher level. But that doesn't make you your body. That is feeding your awareness. Your awareness is what continues from one lifetime to the next lifetime. Put another way, you have a car and your car takes you from point A to point B. You would never dream of saying, I am a car. So why are you saying, I'm my body? You're not your body. Your awareness, your state of being aware is what's observing and living and moving and growing. In this groundbreaking book, the original one was written in 2009. Robert Lanza, MD and astronomer Bob Berman wrote, the book was Biocentrism. There are a number of books have been written since then, by then and other people too. Their point is they used science. They used biology and astronomy to show how the world cannot possibly, nothing exists unless there is an observer. They answer the question of the tree falls in the forest and there's nobody there to hear it. Doesn't make a sound. And unequivocally, the answer is no, it can't because it's not the tree falling that's creating the vibrations unless they fall on a hearing mechanism in some animal. Now, I then went further in his book. I, I, I love his book. I'll probably be getting a couple more of his books. Open my eyes about, are you ready for this? This is a real fun one. Rainbows. To view a rainbow, your head has to be in the exact right position between the sun and the raindrop and the right angle for you to see the rainbow, which means if your friend's standing next to you, well, their head's in a different position and probably in a different angle. They're not going to see the same rainbow that you're seeing. Interesting, don't you think? And it explains why you don't see rainbows when you're in your backyard looking at the water sprinkler spinning round and round. Now, let's go another step deeper. Uh, he proceeded. The ancient Greek philosopher Socrates, his name was Heraclitus. And he had he had all these brilliant quotes. I'm just throwing one out there. You can't step in the same river twice. You've probably heard that one. Because the river's not the same, right? And you're not the same person. But that's not the one that I want to share with you right here, right now. Because what he said was out of all things, one, one, and out of one, all things. When you hear uh, all is one, what they're talking about, there's only one awareness, not just in this universe, but out across the entire universe, the multiverses, there's one energy that is awareness. Now, 
how do you get to discover that awareness who you really are because that's the true you that's who you really are if you observe a child up until about the age of two and a half they only know awareness if you show a picture to a child that young and they'll see themselves in it but they'll name themselves in the third person so they'll say well wow, look that's bobby because they don't have a separate concept you separate from me so another quote from heraclitus he said man is most nearly himself when he achieves the seriousness of a child at play. What's he talking about? He's talking about being who you really are. Who you really are is awareness, conscious awareness. And if you look across the ancient mystics, and across different philosophies and across the ancient religions, you will find all of them talking about conscious awareness. My Qigong teacher, who's actually Chinese, he teaches us awakened awareness. So here you have the combination of stop living in a hypnotic state and awaken to who you are because who you truly are, your true self is awareness. Now, Rhonda Burns book that she wrote in 2020 called The Greatest Secret does an incredible job of explaining exactly what awareness is, how to discover it for yourself. And I highly recommend the book. In fact, I'll put a link to it down below so you'll be able to find it easily. And I'm kind of thinking I'm going to want to teach on that book. And maybe that's going to be one of the master classes I'll be offering to people who are in ALITLC.club for free. Because when you learn how to find who you are, it makes your world lighter. It gives you a new view of reality. Here's a small, for instance, take your hand, put it in front of your face, and I want you to really look at your hand. And while you're looking, just notice what you're feeling, physically feeling, emotionally feeling inside. Okay, you got it? Now put your hand down. Now expand your vision to your surroundings, to everything you're seeing that's around you right now. And as you do that, again, Notice how you're feeling. You feel lighter. When you're taking in more, you're not locked in having the focus. See, when you're locked in on your hand, that's how you're living. When you think you're a body and you think you're a mind, you're focusing on your beliefs and on your thoughts, but you are not your mind and you are not your thoughts, and you are not your beliefs. You're the awareness that's open to all that's around you. Now, I think I'm going to stop here because I don't want to overwhelm you, and I just threw a whole bunch of new stuff at you. But I look forward to the next time we get together, and I'm pretty sure I'll be seeing you in ALITLC Club before I see you live here again. Please remember to join our Facebook group. The link is down below in the show notes. In there, ask your questions. Make friends with the other people also on their spiritual path and share 
let your friends know they can join too. Again, I ask you please to rate and review this show. And also let me know what specific questions you have that you'd like me to cover on this show for you. And also check out our website for the show because you can get specific notes for each episode as well as be able to listen to every single episode that we've always done. You can follow me on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, and I look forward to getting to know you. Send me messages, send me a DM, comment. I'm here to enrich your spiritual growth. So the more you tell me about what you want to know, the better job I can do for you. I thank you for joining me once again, and I will see you here next time. You've been listening to a talk on the wilder side. Thanks for tuning in to Let's Get Metaphysical. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And while you're at it, please leave a rating and review and be sure to share it with your friends. Tune in every Monday for more exciting insights and wisdom on life beyond your five senses. Until next time, take a small step in a new direction. Start now.